Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's LT State Messi here coming at you with another video review here. And today, we're going to be looking at Binance Wealth Matrix. So, this right here is a brand new DeFi project that just recently launched, maybe like a week or two ago. Can't remember exactly when. And uh, this right here is going to be based on the same Ponzi Nomics um, as you've seen with uh, Fintalk or Fintosh, which just recently rug pulled and scammed out uh, uh, $31.6 million from everyone. And then Solar Road, who came out after Fintosh did, or Fintalk, how you want to say the name, doesn't matter. Uh, fan scam, you can call it that. Um, you know, and this right here just uh, rug pulled the same day that Fintosh did. And uh, so now you got the same people that was promoting Fantos, they're promoting Solar Road. And now people that was promoting Solar Road, they're not promoting Binance Wealth Matrix. Same thing is going to happen here. I don't believe this one's going to last nearly as long. Oh, but let me get this out of the way first before I get going. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. I do not advise one to invest and spend their money. All I do is show opportunities that I believe that be beneficial to anyone around the world. So that's it. Let's get to this video. Now, like I was saying before, this one right here is not going to last nearly as long. Because they already see the writing on the wall from what has happened with Fantosh and also Solar Road. You had the most amount of people and money inside of this project. And then you had a lot of money coming to this one right before they pulled the rug on this one as well. Uh, or scammed everyone out. You don't know what rug pull means. <clears throat> so now this one right here is uh, starting to get, you know, gain a little bit of momentum. But I don't think it's going to last maybe a month. I give it maximum two months that this one's going to last. And then they're going to rub pull this one as well. Uh, so this uh, this is based around the Klein token. And, you know, so this only inside their own ecosystem. Just like with the Solar Road, with the side token and Acorn that they had over there. And same thing with the, the FTH token with, uh, for Fantalk. There, there's no other use case for any of these tokens in these systems, first of all. So you see the climb price is starting at $1. Current prime climb price is over $1.41. Uh, this is an invest, reinvest, redeem as prime price rises on each transaction. So the price is never going down with this token. What kind of crypto is this? Uh, this is not real cryptocurrency right here because cryptocurrency always goes up and down. It don't always just go up. That, that, that right there is a Ponzi token. All right. So this right is saying it's fully collateralized with USDT and BUSD. Passive income generator asset that never depreciates. And, you know, you can join the Telegram, follow them on Twitter, and then it's audited by Solid Proof. But we already know better than that. Like people was trying to tell me, oh, Binance is uh, approved Fentos and, you know, it's certain audited. I said it don't matter to me. Binance is not regulated. Cryptocurrency has changed. Uh, Certic does not uh, regulate anything. They just audit um, contracts. That's it. They look over contracts, and that's what they see it at the time. They get paid fifty thousand dollars to review contracts. So they're in this for to make money, while uh, acting like they're trying to keep your investment safe, which they're not doing. You can go to the, the Certic website, and they'll tell you that don't take their word as financial advice. Always do your due diligence still. Because they're not a, a cryptocurrency regulator or an investment regulator at all. Just an auditor. That's it. Okay? Now, <clears throat> you get over here and uh, you go to where it says how climb works. It says each climb token utilizes a built-in contract exchange system that renounces the need for a traditional liquidity pool. Rather than a liquidity pool parent of the backing asset to the token using the traditional market maker uh, method for it, uh, exchange and price calculation, both assets are stored within the contract itself. To purchase CLIMB tokens, each investor interacts directly with the contract via our DAP using BUSD or BELP20 or Tether BELP20. Uh, these contracts are commonly referred to as swapper contracts. This mitigates the need for a decentralized exchange or DEX or a centralized exchange sets. Well, when the contract receives BUSD or Tether, the BUSD or Tether is swapped for the backing asset and the price value equivalent of climb are meant to increase the total supply. So, they got a, a never ending circulation or supply of climb. So, as long as people keep on investing into this, they're going to keep minting more and more climb tokens. And then the price is going to keep going up, whether you're selling or buying. That don't make any sense, okay? Scam, token, all together. I don't have to worry about reading the rest of this because this is a bunch of, uh, you know, just a bunch of garbage going forward. You know, just trying to, uh, you know, promote this thing is a scam in itself. 
and it's just horrible uh, what um, some of these uh, these YouTubers are doing uh, without ever learning from past experiences. Is that I'm uh, doing this right here because I want you to be able to learn how to look out for scams because I've been scammed enough for all of us. <laughs> Trust me. And I, I grew tired of it as well and I decided to make this shift on my YouTube channel to go over information like this so that way I can help the community learn how to look for a scam and you know pretty much and just take opportunities where you feel like it's better for you to take opportunity with now i can't tell you how to invest or anything like that you can still invest in this if to, if you want to or donate because that's what it is, is donation to the the actual owners because you don't know who they are um you know and then you see what the current contract is that is that 232 cents and uh so this right here is not going to see the tremendous growth that fantox did or solar road did they're going to rub pull this one very soon and it's, uh, it's not going to be pretty uh, for the ones that promoting Solar Road and going over to Binance Wealth Matrix, the ones that were promoting Fantos for promoting Solar Road and now promoting Binance Wealth Matrix. You know, there's already one big YouTuber. Um, he, uh, he already deleted all his videos on Solar Road, Rug Pool. You know, he, he, was, he was one of the biggest promoters of Solar Road. The name of uh, YouTube channel, D the DeFi Guys, you know, also known as Joshua Elder. And this is what that's what he does. You know, he deletes his videos once something rub pulls and everything like that, so he can't be hold, uh, held liable or accountable for his promotion of these um, these kind of projects. And that's who brought Solar Road out to the community was ma mainly him. And uh, then you got Binance Wealth Matrix, and you can go there, you can see who's promoting this one. Um, and you know, so I don't have to call out no names on there because all of them. Or like they're, they're not nearly as big as like Joshua Elder. Joshua Elder got like almost a hundred thousand subscribers. I think he got more than a hundred thousand subscribers on his channel. So that right there is the reason why I mentioned him in connection to Solar Road. And now you can't find any videos on of him on that. Except for if you go to the Flood Forum channel and you're able to see the AMA that he did with Joshua Elder or the DeFi guys. And he because uh Flood Forum still has that video up. So, anyways. I do not recommend this right here. Stay far away from it. Uh, don't put your money into it. I know that you're probably hurting for money because Fentos rub pool, solar road rub pool. But don't try to find a way to make fast money. You know, I know the saying is small, you know, scared money don't make any money. Bad investing will lose you money time and time and time again. Trust me. You do not want to go down that road. All right. Stay away from these kind of projects. Uh, you know, me, I'm learning how to trade myself. I got my own Telegram channel for teaching people how to trade. And, you know, I'm looking at later on this year, uh, probably in mid-July, starting my own copy trading PAM account and then allowing people to copy my strategy as a passive way of income. But it's going to be on a broker um, that's going to be, uh, you know, available to everyone around the globe pretty much. And it's going to be regulated at the same time as well. All right. So that's all to say for right now. If you like what you heard and saw, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to share this video with other people. Uh, I do not recommend this project and anything like that, so stay far away from it. So I'll see you next time in this video. Take care, everyone.